Excuse me. Hi. I was actually just walking by, and I thought it was unacceptable we hadn't met yet. Oh. So I was, I was looking to change that. <laughs> Laura, nice to meet you. I'm, wow. I actually just feel healthier just looking at that right there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Devin, you're, listen, you're, you're cute and all, but that handshake needs a lot of work. Oh, you <laughs> caught me off guard. What? Well, I mean, it's not every day you see this, right? Yeah, that's an interesting match. Before I go, I want to grab your number. Okay. And we can go to Chipotle sometime. Okay, sure. Yeah. Let's, let's make it happen. Okay. So, Laura Cold Brew, very good uh, choice in coffee, by the way. Fellas, are you tired of playing games and wondering if she's interested? Do you ever wish you could develop charisma, confidence, and actual strategy that will allow you to approach a girl? Maybe you go up and approach a girl, but you just feel like you're not being yourself, like you're forcing something. So if you're ready to learn the secrets of directness and start being able to approach girls while being your authentic self, Stay tuned guys, it's gonna get real interesting. So the reason why I love this line so much and find that it works so well for me is because you're already addressing the elephant in the room, okay? Which is why you have came up and approached her, right? You're being direct with it. You're not, you know, using indirect openers and beating around the bush as to why you're there, right? You wanted to meet her, okay? So you're going up and confidently approaching her. It's also slightly cocky as well too, and I find that that works best for me, right? Is the cocky and confident approach. When you go up, you're stating your intentions right then and there, and you're not coming off in a way where you're giving so much power away as if you were to you know, go up and say, hi, I thought you were beautiful, so I had to come up and say hi, right? Because it's like, okay, you know what? The girls heard that 6,000 times, right? You're not really adding anything else by saying you're beautiful, you're hot, right? So don't be over complimented. And this line is also direct, it's honest, and it shows confidence, right? It shows confidence. I mean, just by going up and approaching a girl in a direct manner, you're already separating yourself from 99% of the guys out there that don't even have the balls to do it, okay? So you can separate yourself easily from all those other guys. Here's the thing is, Girls know why you've came up and approached them, okay? A lot of guys are way too indirect with their intentions, right? They'll go up and they'll ask the girl for directions and they'll keep hanging around, right? Like, oh, okay, that's cool. So, what, so uh, yeah, wh wh what are you doing right now? Oh, okay, well, uh, are you from this area? Right, and the girl's there like, okay, well, what the fuck? Like, he asked me for directions, but he's obviously talking to me for more than just that, right? He obviously is interested in me, so why is there no flirtiness, right? Why is there just boring, generic conversation in a way where the guy would be talking to a male acquaintance? There's no flirtiness here, but he's conveying in his body language that he wants me for more than just a friend, right? That he's interested in me sexually, but he's not showing it. So this is a huge mistake that a lot of guys make. They're not being direct, okay? And this is gonna skate around all that. This is gonna allow you to take the pressure off, essentially, by being direct. It's like the same thing as this, right? If you were to go buy a car, right? You're going to the lot, you talk to the salesman, okay? You're ready to purchase, and the salesman's just like, oh, so, uh, yeah, uh, are you from here? Okay, so how many kids do you have? That might be beneficial at first, but if he keeps rattling off questions that aren't related to the car, you'd be thinking, okay, like, get to the <laughs> point, <laughs> right? This is what you're doing when you're approaching a girl in an indirect manner, not being direct with your intentions. So that is why being direct is so crucial. Guys, it's like ripping the Band-Aid off, right? You don't wanna just slowly rip it off, right? Just jump in the fucking cold water, okay? Just jump in, just do it, get it over with. That's why you're there, okay? Ah, the pressure's off a bit. The truth about being direct is it's gonna cause you to not get stuck in that dreaded friend zone category, okay guys? And you're gonna wanna watch to the end of the video because I'm gonna go into vivid detail on how most guys fuck up and end up getting caught in the friend zone. And that is just a sinking ship, okay? It's like sinking in quicksand. It's almost impossible to get yourself out of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can prevent yourself from getting in the friend zone and also how you can get out of the friend zone. But the point is, don't get yourself in the friend zone in the first place, okay? So you're gonna wanna stay tuned to watch that.
So guys, by the way, while you're at it, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already, if you're looking to improve your dating lives, all right? Let's make that happen. So charming a guy, right, is being direct, being able to go up and state your intentions, right? I'm here for this. You don't want to be beating around the bush. Girls find that attractive because they know, right? A lot of guys try to hide their intentions, but when you go up and state why you're there, it also saves your time as well too, right? Because if you state why you're there and the girl's not interested, fuck it, OTTN onto the next, right? There's 3.5 billion girls, that's one. It helps you save your hard, valuable time. It also shows an incredible amount of confidence because let's be honest, how many guys do you think are actually doing that? Just being honest and direct, even if you do get rejected, the girl is gonna respect you for doing that. It's huge. I realize that this takes a bit of courage, right? To be able to do that. You may not be able to go up and directly approach a girl right out of the gate. That's fine. You might have to work up to that. But by using this opener that I've provided you with, it actually takes the pressure off because it's just saying, right? It's not being too overly direct, right? It's just saying, hey, I was just wondering why we haven't met yet. Let's change that. It's a low pressure opener and it's great. But remember guys, it's all in how you say it, right? I deliver it in a cocky manner. I was just wondering why we haven't met yet. Why is that, Bethany? <laughs> so let's face it, there's a big difference between being friendly and being flirty with girls, right? If you wanna make a bunch of girl friends, by all means, go for it, right? But girls will place guys in certain categories right when they meet them, right? They say it only takes eight seconds to form a first impression, I believe seven or eight seconds. Either way, right, girls will place guys in certain categories. Do I get a friendly vibe from this guy? Is he gonna be a friend? Or am I gonna put them in the flirty category, right? Where there's potential for more. The great thing about being direct with your intentions is it automatically puts you out of that friend category, right? And in that flirty category with the potential of there being more, right? Let me explain. So the thing is with guys, right? Guys hang out, it's usually for a specific reason, right? To go watch sports, to go for a drink, right? It's transactional. You guys, both have the same interest, so you're gonna both go do that same thing. If you're friends with a girl, the problem with that is a lot of times you don't have those same interests. And a lot of times she knows that you're just trying to be friends with her because you want something more from her, <laughs> right? Girls aren't stupid. So they'll often waste guys' time, dangle that carrot in front of the donkey, you know, so oh, you might be able to get this if you do this, right? They'll take guys on these food dates. The guys will be paying for the dates, right? They'll dangle that carrot. Oh, you might get some. You might get some if you just toe the line, right? Buy me a purse here and there. And there's always that temptation there. Guys, you don't want to be this guy. And let's just be honest. There's always going to be that tension between a guy and a girl, right? That sexual tension. But here's the thing is why hide your intentions? Right? Oftentimes, by hiding your intentions, this won't get you anywhere and you'll keep sinking in that pit of what we call the friend zone. And then it's just going to be that much harder to get yourself out of it. So by stating your intentions right away, you know, by telling her, I have plenty of friends, I don't need more. Right? That's one thing you can do if you find yourself getting too friendly with the girl. You don't want to be one of those stealth bomber chameleons trying to fly under the radar, right? just pretending to be friends with the girl so that you can possibly get to sniff her G-string, okay? <laughs> Guys, this is not a good approach. One, she's gonna sense that you're interested in her. She's gonna know that you're trying to just be her friend so you can get some, right? Let's just be honest. And she might try to take advantage of that, right? She'll say, okay, let's go shopping. Here, buy me that, buy me this. She's gonna see what she can get away with, right? and then possibly dangle the carrot in front of the donkey. Okay, well, if you buy me some food, we'll see what happens. We'll see where tonight may end up, right? Oh, maybe, who knows? And I've heard stories about guys being friends with girls for 10 years and still not being able to get some, but still being adamant in the fact that they might be able to, okay? So if you're looking for more from girls, don't even get into the friend zone category with them, okay? Because it's gonna be hard to dig yourselves out of it. Just be straight up with your intentions, okay? That's why being direct gets you out of that friend zone category. Okay, so just to sum it up, being direct is the quickest way to find out if the girl is interested in you or not, right? So it saves your valuable time. 
right? It's also a great way to get you out of that friend zone with the girl and into the flirty territory as fast as possible. Girls don't like a guy that's constantly beating around the bush, trying to hide their intentions. Just be fucking honest, save both of your time. And it will allow you to not overthink things, right? Oh, does she like me more than just a friend? Oh, I don't know, are we in friend zone category? Because let's just be honest, guys, if you're thinking that you're in the friend zone category with a girl, you probably are, right? And remember, there's a difference between a flirty tone and a friendly tone. I wouldn't talk to a girl the same way that I would talk to a male acquaintance, right? It's a different way, it's a different tone. You hold eye contact differently, right? Too often, too many guys, they just speak to a girl the way they would speak to a male acquaintance, right? And that's not the way that you wanna go about it. Now, I get it, okay? Some of you guys may be more shy or introverted and this may seem too much, right? This may seem like too much of a big step for you to go up and be direct with a girl. That's why I've made you guys a list of openers that you can use as a shy guy that will help you get out of the friend zone and state your intentions fast, okay? So watch that video right here.